The Holy Tales. Hello, friends. I am Tabby, and these are my friends Gumbo and Freckles. We will now go to Holy, who will tell us another new story from the Bible. I just hope she's awake. Holy, wake up! We've come to hear a new story from the Bible. Tell us a story, Holy, please, please, please. Hmm. Yes. I fell asleep while waiting for you all to come. So. Today's story is about a kind woman called Abigail, who helped David and his men. After Samuel's death, David, with his 400 men, camped near a place called Maon, where a very rich man lived, called Nabal. Nabal owned 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goats, and lived with his beautiful and kind wife named Abigail. David heard that Nabal. Was shearing sheep, so he sent ten of his men with a request of sharing some food with them. They said, "Remember a while back when your shepherds camped near us? We provided them protection and never took anything from them. Would you show us similar kindness by giving us some food?" David's men were shocked by Nabal's refusal. He said. Go away and leave me alone. I would never share my hard-earned food with a bunch of people I do not know. David was furious to hear Nabal's response and decided to attack and fight them. This frightened Nabal's servants. One of the servants went to Abigail, Nabal's wife, and told her everything that was happening. David was always kind to us. But Nabal's mean behavior is now going to put us all in trouble. David will kill us all. Abigail immediately took action and loaded up donkeys with two hundred loaves of bread, two skins of wine, five sheep, a bushel of grain, and three hundred cakes. She sent her servants to inform David that she was coming with all the food that he required for his own men. When Abigail went to David, she bowed low to him and requested, "Please, sir, forgive me for Nabal's mean and wicked behavior. If I knew that your men came to request food, I would have given them some myself. Please accept all this food and spare the life of Nabal and our servants." David was pleased to hear what Abigail said. He said. Thank you for stopping me from doing anything wrong. I had planned to kill Nabal, but now I will spare him for what you said. Go back and know that all is well, and I will not attack your people. The next morning, Abigail told Nabal the news. Nabal was so shocked that he had a stroke and died in a couple of days. When David heard that Nabal was dead, he married Abigail himself. <laughs> that wicked man, Nabal, died out of shock. Serves him right. <laughs> so, what is today's question, Holy? How many loaves of bread and how many cakes did Abigail? Teach